An if statistic is a value you get when you run an ANOVA test or a regression analysis to find out if means between two populations are significantly different. It's similar to a t-statistic from a t-test. A t-test will tell you if a single variable is significant. An f-test will tell you if a group of variables are jointly significant. You can use the f-statistic when deciding to support or reject the null hypothesis. In your f-test results, you'll have both an f-value and an f-critical value. The value you calculate from your data is called the f-statistic or f-value. The f-critical value is a specific value you compare your f-value to. In general, if your calculated f-value in a test is larger than your f-critical value, you can reject the null hypothesis. However, the statistic is only one measure of significance in an f-test. You should also consider the p-value. The p-value is determined by the f-statistic and is the probability your results could have happened by chance. The p-value is the probability of getting a result at least as extreme as the one that was observed given the null hypothesis is true. If you have a significant result, it doesn't mean that all your variables or coefficients are significant. Let's say you're running a one-way ANOVA and you get a p-value of 0.6a with an alpha level of 0.05. As the p-value is large, you should not reject the null hypothesis. However, your f-value of 4.0 is larger than the f-critical value of 3.2. This might make you question should you now reject the null hypothesis, even though you didn't get a small p-value? The answer is no, because the f-value always needs to be used with the p-value. In regression, the null hypothesis is that all the regression coefficients are equal to zero. An f-test will compare a model with zero predictor variables and ask the question, do the added coefficients improve the model? If you get a significant result with the f-test, it means that the coefficients you included in the model improved the fit. If you get a small p-value, you can reject the null hypothesis. Only then should you consider the f-value. If the overall f-value is significant, then you can consider the individual p-values for each of the coefficients in your model. The main takeaway is that you should always consider the p-value with the f-value when you're running an f-test for regression or ANOVA.